Welcome to Hemsworth Antique Centres. If you haven't been to Hemsworth before, this is the largest antique centre in Europe with over 400 dealers from all over the world based here. My name's Robert Miller and I'm the MD and owner of Hemsworth Antique Centres and took over the business in 1999 and have given the corporate identity that it required, expanding, serving over 25 countries with antiques and collectibles. During the pandemic, it was a very difficult time for everybody. And what we did here was something very different and did a lot of live virtual tours to national and international clients, selling more than we could have ever expected via the virtual tours. At this present moment in time, we've got just over six and a half thousand items live on the web and what we've decided to do is to try something very different and that is live streaming from the guard room. This is the first one that we've done and I think you will find this very interesting. So everything that we're actually live streaming and showing to you today is live actually on the website. So if you um, look at your, when you're looking at your screen, there will be a QR code that comes up you can photograph or you can scan that with your phone and it will take you live to the website. Alternatively, if you're looking at this broadcast on a telephone, you can actually click on the link and it will take you straight through to the website. So I'm going to start. Um, there's, there's so much stock here at Hemsworth. There's millions of items within the four buildings which consists um, it, it's approximately 68,000 square feet we have here at Hemswell. We're open seven days a week from 10 till 5, and you can spend a whole day here easily. We have some international buyers that come into Hemswell and will spend three or four days buying here. So it just gives you an idea of the size and the, the quality of the items that we have that I'm going to show you this evening. So first of all... Um, the item that I'm going to show you here is a, a beautiful um, Georgian chest of drawers. It's got oak line, draw, uh, oak line drawers. It's got the original handles and the original locks on. It's got a lovely patina. And, you know, at 495 it's an absolutely fantastic price at. Um, it really is. So the, the next item we've got here, something very different, is a filled mic, microscope. It's a quality instrument with three objective lenses and it's a mounted magnifier and has sample slides, as you can see here, all different slides and comes in a really nice case. Um, that is obviously totally portable and then it locks closed with these brackets here at the front. Again, this is live on the website. Again, you just click on if you're interested uh, or scan on the um, picture with your phone. And this item here is £185. Lovely gift. The next item we've got here is a Pullman's lamp. This is an Art Nouveau Pullman's lamp. I remember seeing loads of these when I went on a train to the 150th anniversary of the rocket in Liverpool, actually in 1980. I was looking at it the other day. Um, quite incredible. So this here has got one hole here, so it would have been connected to the table here. It's a, like I say, it's Art Deco and the price on this is £110. It's a beautiful, beautiful item. <clears throat> the next item here is a miniature chest of drawers. Very heavy. I, I'm not sure, but I think this could be an apprentice chest of drawers. It's mahogany. Um, it's 1880. It's got the original 
knobs on the drawers, it's oak lined, and you can see the dovetail um, on the corners there. This item here is £295. You can see that the pattern of this is really, really nice and, you know, it's in excellent condition, this, for £295. Okay. Like I say, this is just a, a sample of some of the things that we have within the centres. Uh, we could spend weeks going around all of the buildings. Um, the next thing we've got here is a set of four bells. Really quite charming. These are church bells. I shan't ring them all in one go, but, um, you know, absolutely lovely. £130. Absolute bargain, that, that is, I think, really, for those. Something a little bit different here. You don't see these very often. This is a, a double hat. Um, carrier carrying case. Um, this is probably about 1850. You can see this actually comes out here and you put one into here and then another one in like so there and then this goes on to the top. It actually has the name of the person um, Owen Stable and it was it says Paddington, um, 1920, sorry, 1949, April the 20th. So quite, quite a rare um, box, this, uh, rare, rare case. It's 100, I think it was 180 pounds, no, 120 pounds. Um, absolutely, you know, fantastic. You know, it's still in very good condition. Could be used as a prop in a film. Um, you know, we do loads of props uh, for films these days with Netflix and, and Warner Brothers. Okay, the next thing we've got here, something really nice, um, hand-painted jewel casket here. Um, it's really highly um, decorated. It's enamel a mother of pearl picture to the lid here. And inside is a red baize, um, which is absolutely fantastic. The decorative feet here look just here and the beveled glass around here. Uh, it's in very, very good condition this uh, with minor age wear and it has the clip on the front here just to lock it closed. So this item's £295. Again, like I say, you can, uh, with your phone, you can scan the QR code and it will take you straight through if you're interested in finding more information about this on the website. So the next item we've got here is the lamp, okay. This is a, a, an oil lamp, 19th century oil lamp. It hasn't got the wick in here that you would use these to turn it up and down with, unfortunately. Uh, it wouldn't take a lot to actually to purchase the wick for this, um, but it's really ornate. You see the flower on here with a brass base. Absolutely. It's relatively heavy, this. Um, it is Victorian. It's in good condition. Again, minor age wear, and it's 250 pounds. But the color of it is absolutely fantastic, that is. Okay, the, the next item that we've got on here is a Whittington chess travel set. Um, quite unusual, the way it closes like this here, but great fun. I mean, we all use computers and iPads and iPhones and technology now to, to play these games, but it, it's great if you're in a car um, with a friend and playing this or on a train, it, it's fantastic. And it's not expensive, 150 pounds for this little travel set in a mahogany case. Um, 
I think it's absolutely superb quality. And then it just goes like that. So you can see it's very, very easy and quite portable. The next item I've got here is the serpentine chest of drawers. You'll see here, it's really very unusual, um, kind of, I call it a wonderful fiddle back mahogany veneer on the front here. Um, I'd say it's got the original handles on. It's 1920, um, graduated drawers um, on bracket feet and it's 645 pounds, which you know, I think is very a reasonable price for, for something of this size. It's just a really nice size uh, chest of drawers that, um, and, and would fit you know, either in a bedroom or in a drawing room, wherever, wherever really, but it's just a super piece. Okay, the uh, next item here we've got this um, is a really nice, I would say 1950s, probably that 1958 Philips um, Territorial Globe. It's in very, very good condition considering its age. It's on obviously a wooden base here, but this is £285. Um, and, you know, it, it, it swivels very easily. You're going to have some age wear. You'd expect some of the age wear on here. Um, you know, wouldn't you if you were, you know, nearly 60 years old? Okay, so that, that's £285. The next item we've got here is just a, um, a, a, a kind of desk spell, really. Um, you know, you could use this on, on a bar if you've got a bar at home, but it's just something very unique. It's a Victorian. It's in very good condition. Um, it's very simple technique, really, on how it works. Um, very pretty, very pretty. Ninety-eight pounds. That it's 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 really nothing. Uh, I don't think for what it is. We send a lot of these bells go to America, um, and we you know we sell as many as that come in. We we always seem to sell them. So next thing um, again, something quite rare. This is it's a Regency brass inlaid rosewood desk companion and uh, it just oozes quality this does um, super super piece it's got a drawer at the front here okay and it's it's finely cast feet here and the handle here with the ink wells here and then it's even got bays underneath the ink wells and you know it, it's this is all brass, um, where you put your pens here. Um, this is, I would say it's English and it's uh, about 1930, but it's a stunning piece uh, for anybody's desk really. And you're looking at 695 for this particular item, which, um, you know, it is, it is relatively heavy. Great piece for, for a partner's desk or any desk really. Um, Great gift, great gift. Okay, the, the next item here is, um, this is, a, again, a Regency chest of drawers. Um, it's got a, quite a bit of age wear on it, but it is a stunning, stunning chest of drawers. Um, oak line drawers. Okay, it's got the dove um, joints there. And this is obviously a, a two short over three. It does run very well. Um, yeah, very smooth running. And you know, for a, for a chest of drawers of this age, you're looking at three nine five, which I don't think is a lot of money when you compare it to if you were to buy something new. Okay. The um, next item that we've got is the um, boots here. Um, I spent a lot of time polishing these earlier today. Um, they're size 10 military boots. Um, they've got leather on the bottom of them. 
and then you've got the steel plate here um, with obviously the wooden tree in them here. I'm not going to pull it out because it takes a lot of putting back in, um, but it, they do come out. Again, these are £168 in, in really, really nice condition they are. Again, click on the, uh, on, the, on the phone, you can click on the link or alternatively you can take a photograph or scan the actual QR code and it will take you straight through to the website where you can purchase it. Okay, the, the next thing we've got here is a um, book press. I just said this is uh, fruit wood and again, I would say the original knobs on here, I'd say about 1850 this. Um, lovely condition, totally original, just been waxed and polished a little bit. All works well and it's 395 pounds, um, which I don't think is, is bad for something. You know, this is 1850, it's a super piece and you know, you don't see many in such good condition as that today. Okay, the, the next thing that I've got here is just something a little bit unusual. This is a Chinese um, dinner gong um, with a striker. It's lovely pattern here on the front here and you've got a, a dragon as the handle here and you've got your you know, it, it's really, really nice as a, as a dinner gong and it's got a, a good solid base to it. It's relatively heavy actually and this is priced at 158 um, which I think is very reasonable. Okay. So the next thing we've got here, this is quite a rare piece this is. Um, so this is an, an old spice um, cupboard really and it's got a door on the front and then inside here you've got all of these little casket areas or drawers where you would have put your spices that you know would have come from all over the world really um, and this you know would have been, had a lock on it on the front here because obviously there was quite a lot of value in um, with all these spices from different parts of the world and only the master of the house would perhaps have had the key um, because of the value that was inside here um, you know it's a, a really quality valuable product or commodity inside but this item here um, was priced at 485 and the, the, the colour the, the patina is absolutely lovely it's lovely warm colour and is, is in good condition. Um, so I think for 485, 18th century, um, it's, you know, it's very reasonably priced. The, the next thing we've got here is um, a set of, well, what I'd call them is uh, probably defend you from the mother-in-law really, um, but a fencing set again 1920, 1920s, um, totally original, and you know I'm not going to put this on because it's quite tight, but it's in very very good condition. The leather on here is in super condition, and this 125 pounds for the set, which I think is very very reasonable. So some of the things that I thought we'd just show you quickly this evening. Um, we've got a couple of uh, items here, with it being the Queen's uh, Jubilee Platinum, we thought we'd just um, show you a couple of quite unusual things that we found uh, within the centres. And this is a coronation money box here uh, that we've got, and it's absolutely fantastic. It says on the front here, June the 2nd, uh, Elizabeth and it's coronation 1953 and this is just 18 pounds um, which you know I don't know how you get the money out I presume you just squeeze this together and it all comes apart but um, you wouldn't put many coins in here today 
um, or you wouldn't get many coins in there, but I just think it's absolutely fantastic for the Queen's um, Platinum Jubilee. I've got a couple of other items that we have here. Just some, we, we have an awful lot throughout the buildings, but we just thought we'd just show you a few, a few of these as a kind of bonus board, really. Um, but this here, again, you can see um, the Queen on one of her horses. And this is a coronation of Her Majesty Elizabeth II, 1953. Um, it's, it's really quite something, quite, you know, it's got ER on here, the crest on here. Just really something quite special. And it's, it's only nine pounds, you know. It's just really, really nice, that. And then just, I'll just show you one other. This is a Royal Worcester plate that was done as a carrot. And this is, um, again, for the Golden Jubilee and eight pounds. Okay. So it just shows you, you know, some of the things that we have. We have anything from a pound here at Hemswell up to 15,000 um, pounds. And in some cases, with some areas of the jewellery, we do have more expensive rings and watches. And um, we also have a lot of uh, bracelets um, that one can find in, in the buildings. Obviously, the, all of those things are in lockable cabinets. Um, we don't put everything on the web. We would love to put more things onto the web, and we are very much um, working to adding more and more items onto the website. Um, so watch this space over the next month because we are actually bringing in some uh, new portable photo studios into the centres, and I think it's going to be really exciting for the web team. Uh, once we've got all that up and running, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. So really, I just want to thank you all for watching this evening. This is the first live stream that we've done. Um, and it is our intention to do more of these. But really, it's just to give you a flavor of what we have here within our buildings. There's so much to see. And what we're wanting to do is to really express and show the audience worldwide some of the things that we have we have many TV programs filming here, but we just felt we wanted to do something to promote some of our dealer's stock. And we could spend a lot of time walking around each dealer's pitch, but unfortunately, it's not easy to do what we're doing here because of all the leads. Um, and we can't just walk around, particularly uh, during the week and when we're open, because it, it's, it's too dangerous. It's a health and safety risk with loads of cables so we we're doing this after hours and just really showing people what we have to offer so i'll leave it there i'd just like to thank the team that have helped me put this together today and um, watch this space on social media we will be doing more and um, thank you very much for watching this please do leave your comments if there's anything particularly you're interested in it does quite clearly give you our phone numbers uh, and our website and our email addresses Look forward to seeing you again and hopefully do come and visit us at Hemswell. It's a great, great place, but do leave yourself plenty of time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.